Hello, uh, today I'm going to give a demonstration on creating complex, seamless, repeating patterns in Illustrator. I'm showing two examples here. Now these are not my work. These are taken from someone else's website, so I'm not claiming um, credit for these, but I'm just showing as an example some complex repeat patterns. Now these are not showing um, complete repeats both on the horizontal and the vertical. This one on the right here the vertical does have a complete repeat shown. You can see the purple and the yellow flowers here match up to the purple and the yellow flowers here. However, on the horizontal, we do not have a complete repeat. I believe that this pink flower would ultimately match up with this pink flower, but we do not have a complete shape. So if you tried to make a repeat here, you wouldn't quite, you'd be missing a portion of it. As you can see it would hit maybe somewhere about there, but on the vertical we do have a complete repeat. You can see it's right, see I have two shapes and I just mashed them up right there. So that being said, what you'll want to do first is start out with a bunch of vector shapes of whatever the pattern is that you want to make a repeat. I've got some snowflakes here from a past project that I did and what you're going to want to do is create your art box to whatever size you want your repeat to be. Mine 600 by 600 pixels. And you'll want to create a stroke uh, border around your artboard that's the same exact size. So 600 by 600. And you're going to want the edges to match up perfectly with the edges of your artboard. Okay. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fill your artboard with your pattern as you like it designed and you're going to overlap shapes on one of the two vertical sides and one of the two horizontal sides. You can see right now I have shapes overlapping, bleeding off the edge on the left side as well as the bottom. Okay, So you want either the top or bottom and either the left or the right to start. Then what you're going to want to do is select all the shapes that bleed off of your artboard on one of your axis as well as the stroke border that you have going around your artboard. Okay, You want to copy and paste that in place so it's directly in front of the, um, the current shapes and you want to slide it over to the right. Once you get over there you want to make sure that that matches up perfectly with your other border. So you can see we now have two borders and we want them to match up in the center here perfectly, which they do. All the while moving these shapes and the border all at once. You have to keep them together. Okay, then you do the same thing for the other axis. Select all of your designs that bleed off of the bottom. Copy them and pull them up to the top. Lining up perfectly. Why my thing's jumping? Okay lining them up perfectly with that other yellow border. So what you can see that that's done is that has created an environment where this snowflake is broken off here on your repeat, but this little piece that's broken off is now duplicated over here and will match up perfectly since we lined it up with this border. Now we're going to delete these borders here. We're going to fill in a little bit where we need an important point at this step in the process. You do not want to move, change scale, or rotate any of the snowflakes that are bleeding off the edge anywhere on your artwork, nor do you want to add any more pieces that bleed off the edge. See that one I just pulled off the edge, but I don't have anything on the bottom to seam up with that. So if you did add something that bleed off the top, you would need to duplicate it and have it off of the bottom so that it will match up in your pattern. Okay, so we're just kind of filling in some of these little gaps, but I think it's looking pretty good. 
looks pretty even and balanced. Now you take your yellow border, send it to the back, it's very important, it has to be in the back, and you take off the stroke and the fill. So this is the bounding box for your repeating pattern. It has to be in the back and it has to have no stroke and no fill. You'll then select everything, open your swatches palette, and just drag and drop it in. Now the purple background is locked, it's just there for demonstration purposes. So when you see our pattern, it will not have the purple background. Okay, create the shape that you want to fill with your pattern. And there you go, you have a nice, perfect, seamless pattern. Now, as you stretch this, you have a couple settings. They're in your scale tool here on your toolbar. Double click on that, and you can choose to scale your patterns or not. So, if you have that turned on, the pattern will scale as you scale your, um, your shape. If you have it turned off, you can make this bigger, and it just basically exposes more of the pattern. Okay, so I hope you now understand how to make complex repeating patterns from scratch in Illustrator and enjoy making your new projects with this new tool. Thank you.